guys, Cindy out here with my artsy endeavors. How are we doing? I'm doing pretty good. Okay, um, it is time for Gina's design team challenge, and this month is called Emboss It. Now, um, I don't know if all of you have done the embossing, but it's a very simple process. I've got out some of Gina's stamps here. You're going to need some stamps, preferably Gina's. You can use anybody's, but preferably Gina's. This is the design team. Um, I have just a plain old piece of cardstock. You're going to need some embossing powder, which this is my little drawer of embossing stuffs. You're going to need a Versamark watermark stamp pad. And what this is, is it's like a glue pad. And you'll stamp into this, stamp it onto the paper, use a little bit of embossing powder over it, and then heat it with the heat gun. Okay, and I will show you how this process goes. I do have a couple trays here that I like to use so I don't end up with embossing powder all over everything. But um, let's get started, shall we? I'm going to fast forward through it and we'll talk at the end. All right, so now if you can see what it did, see if I can get it to see what it did. It actually melted the embossing powder and it stuck it onto the glue where the glue was. So this is embossed. It's got that raised feeling and that's what you see like on the outside of birthday cards or, you know, um, yeah, usually on birthday cards or other cards. So that's what it does. But I wanted to show you guys real quick of an example, and I'm going to keep right on embossing. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. 
Okay, guys, I want to show you something. Um, I did this intentionally, not intentionally, on purpose. Um, I was thinking about it, and I wanted to show you guys, because you have to really get this quite hot um, to melt the embossing powder that's on on there and actually get it to adhere to the glue. But I want to show you, look what happens when you hold the heat there for too long. It will actually start to burn the paper. The paper will actually get hot. Now, it's okay that I did this because I plan on making a, a small card out of this. So I'm fine with it. But I wanted to show you guys, and I did the same thing here. I actually held the heat gun a little bit too long. I can't, I don't know if you can tell. That's yellowish, but you definitely can tell here. Now, being a fall leaf or an autumn leaf, you know, I probably could just leave it and let it go and do a big card. I don't want to do that, though. I'm going to do a small card out of this. So um, just beware when you're playing with your heat gun and embossing, pay, embossing powder um, and your Versa ink, your Versa mark stamp pad, and you can also get it in a pen. Ranger also has um, an embossing ink pad. This one's brand new. Um, and then this is a Ranger Ink Essentials embossing pen. So they have them as well. And then, like I said, the only other one I have. This is a Versa marker. Honestly, I've never used the Ranger, so I don't know the difference. Is it good, bad, or indifferent? I have no idea. Um, I, I just go for the Versa mark. So also, don't forget when you're doing embossing to make sure that you... Um, wash off your stamps and the reason being this is a it's a it's actually a glue um, let's see what it says it just says it's a watermark stamp pad and it's actually a glue um, and that's what the the embossing powder um, adheres to and then when you melt it it dries it all and it, and it melts it so don't forget to wash off your stamps that's huge when you're doing embossing um, I just have a mess over here I want to pick up a little bit now, I normally when I get out my embossing stuff, I will spend hours, a few hours doing this because yes, it's messy. Yes, you get embossing powder all over. I don't care how, um, you know, how neat you are or how how tidy or how careful you are. You're going to get embossing powder on stuff. So, but this is so far what I've done. Now, what I'm going to do is I want to pick up the embossing stuff, get this cleaned up. And then I'm going to make a couple little cards with these just because I want to. Um, this is a makeup brush, and I have to tell you, it's one of the best things I have in my embossing kit because this stuff is like static cling. It, it, everything is it sticks to everything. So see, um, if I was going to be doing it, um, and I really didn't want any red in the color, I strictly wanted a white or a pink, you're going to end up with boss, embossing powder. So I use this to get the embossing powder out of my trays. This one's a Recollections. I have no idea what this one is. They're both very old. Um, I've used them a lot. So I use them for quite a few other things. I use them for beads too. Um, but there you go. Let me get this stuff cleaned up and let's make a couple cards and that'll be it for this month. Give me a minute.
guys, so here's what we did. We did our embossing for this month's prompt. And then I took the stuff that I had embossed and I decided to make up a few cards. This is actually um, some watercolor. It's actually some resist paper that I put watercolor on. And I just absolutely love it. Isn't that cool? And then I use the foam to bring these up off the page a little bit. This one's flat, but this one's brought up and this one's brought up. So there's one card. And these are just um, uh, craft paper cards that I picked up probably at Michael's for like five bucks whenever they have the packs. I go ahead and pick up some. I know I have a lot of craft ones. Now I need to get some more white ones. But So there's one card. Oops, here's a second card. And again, we use the embossed leaves on this one. I think this one turned out really well. I like that. So there's the second one. And then the third one, this one I just played. And this is just a piece of paper, cardstock paper that I had in my scrapbook and stash. And I just took the, the black pen to just kind of make it a doodly outline. Can you see it? And then I used the two arrows. And as you noticed, I broke this one arrow. That doesn't matter. I glued it back together, basically, and there it is. All right, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, definitely check out the links in the description box below because we do have other artists working on Gina's design team. And as always, um, like, comment, share, subscribe, do a thumbs up. Uh, and when you decide, if you decide to do any embossing, we would love to see. Um, definitely put it on our, our Facebook pages with the links. The links are in the description below as well. All right, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I'll see you guys next month. Thanks. Bye.